Hey guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to episode, um, 34, I think, maybe, of Bucket Tutorials. So, um, today, we're going to be doing about making our own custom recipes, which is, um, it's quite easy, actually. I don't know why I left it so long to actually, um, make it, but, yeah, here we go. So, what you want to do is, we, we, you can make two types of recipes, there's shaped recipes and there's shapeless recipes. Um so first we're going to start with the shaped recipe so to do this in our on enable we just want to do shaped recipe and then call it whatever so with this we're going to be making some cobblestone so we're going to be call it cobble and it equals uh, a new shaped recipe and if you haven't already import that and this takes a new item stack uh, and then in here we put what we're going to get out of this recipe so material dot cobblestone and we want to get one piece of cobblestone so let's import shaped recipe import item stack and um, yeah so after this we do dot shape and this is going to set the shape so here we can put uh, we put three um, of these quotation marks, which is this is going to be the first layer of the crafting table, second layer, and third layer. So on the first layer, we want to put nothing, so we put three spaces. On the second layer, um, we want to put a piece of stone. So let's put uh, a star, and then in the middle, we're going to put something like uh, so we're going to have a stone, um, a pickaxe so for every different material that you do you want to have um, a different symbol so star um, percent sign star so that we'll make in a minute and on the third line we don't want anything so end that actually wait no don't end that <laughs> do dot um, set ingredient and character key so we a character is um, one of these things so we put an apostrophe, the character, which is this star, and then the ingredients so material dot stone. And then we can do again dot set ingredient uh character percent sign and then material dot um sorry about that, so material dot um what is it with your pickaxe? So stone pickaxe and yeah, so that's just saying basically that we're going to make this new recipe called cobble and it's going to give us a cobblestone at the end, one cobblestone. I'm going to set the shape as in the middle of the thing we just want some stone, which is set down here, um, and a stone pickaxe and then another piece of stone. So um, now let's make a shapeless recipe. So shapeless recipe, um, I'm going to call this, we'll just call this um, cobblestone because I've got it, it's easiest so this is going to equal a new shapeless recipe and there's going to be a new item stack material dot cobblestone actually no let's, let's not make it cobblestone let's make it um, let's make it a pumpkin and it's going to give us material dot pumpkin and here all we have to do is um import shapeless recipe first so import that and we can just do dot add ingredient and all this does is it adds an ingredient and we can put it anywhere in the thing and it'll give us the recipe so material dot pumpkin seeds so if we put them anywhere in the crafting table it's going to give us a pumpkin one pumpkin Actually, we don't need the one. If it's one, then we don't need it. It just gives that's what it works. So, anyway, to add it into the thing, we do get server dot add recipe and then the recipe. So, cobble and pumpkin. So, we've added them in. Now, when this reloads, it's going to go through the on disable again and again and again, and it's going to keep on adding these recipes, which is we don't want that. We want them to clear the recipe every time we do it because it's going to give us multiple things sorry about that again so anyway what I was saying is um 
it just it keeps on adding the recipes so we don't want it to duplicate. So to clear the recipes we could get server dot clear recipes and that just removes all the recipes. Um so that's about it. You don't need to put anything in your config. Or your plugin dot one sorry. Um just export it and I'll be right back with you in the game. Alright, so we're back. Um and why are there pig spawners here? Hmm. So, uh, let's get our crafting table. And let's get some cobblestone. Actually, we need lots of cobblestone. We need pickaxe. Um, and what was the other thing? It was... Um, do it without looking. Pumpkin seeds, yes. Um, so, pumpkin seeds. So, let's go into the crafting table. And if we put a cobblestone, oh no, it wasn't even cobblestone, was it? It was stone. <laughs> Lucky I had some of that in my inventory. So stone, stone pickaxe, and we get a piece of cobblestone. If we put pumpkin seeds in here, then if we put them anywhere, it's just going to give us a pumpkin. Now I think also, does this work? I need another um, pickaxe. Get two. So if I put stone on different levels that doesn't work because it's a shaped recipe see okay so that works thanks for watching next episode is going to be a very long episode <laughs> i was um all day today just like working on it it's it's advanced grid protection um where you can select the cubes you can generate the cubes in that area and you can also protect the area um so yeah don't forget to like this video please uh, that's helpful makes me um do it so if you haven't already like you got you got three seconds to like three three two one and um yeah, if you made it this far just comment about how what what makes these tutorials so awesome and how awesome i am <laughs> no um comment what you wanna you wanna see next um but yeah advanced group protection you next which is something that's been asked for for a long time um got a few shouts making that one people who helped me a bit um, I've got a question to ask you guys in it for your help your input you could get to get your video on this channel um, so yeah thanks for watching hope you're enjoying all the series going on I'll see you next time